So I recently did a stylish rundown video for books and remarkable users. And if you haven't checked out that video, I'll link it above. In that video, I talked about the Wacom One, the pen that comes with the books device, the Stadler Norris Digital, and the Samsung S Pen. So a lot of people in the comments of that video asked why I didn't review the Lamy All-Star. And the biggest reason was, I, at the time, I wanted a pen that would magnet to the side of the books, and I knew I was only gonna keep one or two of the styluses that I tried, so I wanted to pick ones that I could easily return, and the Lamy wasn't one of those. After using the books device for a significant period of time, I've realized that magnetizing to the side of the device isn't nearly as big a deal as I thought it would be. And so I've opened my horizons to other pens. And I just happened to be in New York City a couple of weeks ago, and I was able to visit the Lamy store there and pick up the Lamy All-Star. So my initial impressions were that it feels really good. In my head, I thought it would be a lot heavier than it is. And I just had this vision of what I thought this pen was gonna feel like. And it was this big, heavy thing, kind of like the Studio Neat Mark I. This pen is, is not particularly heavy, but it's heavy for its size. It's smaller than the Lamy, but it weighs, I don't know, maybe a third more than the Lamy. The Lamy actually feels so light that I didn't actually believe it was aluminum when I first got it. Uh, I asked the person who worked there, I was like, uh, this one's plastic, right? And the other ones are metal? And it was completely wrong. It, it, it's aluminum. Also, having a cap has been way more useful than I ever thought it would be. I've been traveling a little bit more recently, and I love being able to like stick this in my bag and like put it on a lip on the inner side of my bag, and I know exactly where it's gonna be when I go to pull it out or if I'm gonna run to pick up my daughter for a bit and I wanna bring a tablet with me, I'll just throw this in my pocket and the clip on it is really good where I don't have to worry about losing it, it's gonna stay right there. I guess people who've been using Lamy pens for a while probably already know all this, but this is the first Lamy pen I've ever owned. On the topic of other Lamy pens, that's another kind of interesting thing about this is if you wanted a very specific color, you can actually buy a Lamy rollerball pen and swap out the body, so this just, twists right off and you can put a different body in a different cap and then you don't have to deal with just black. I happen to really like black, so I'm in luck. So who should buy this pen? I think anyone who wants a thicker pen, like a girthier pen in their hand, those that found the S Pen a little bit too thin, I think will really like this. It, it's significantly thicker when you go to hold it. Um, so much so that it doesn't quite fit me perfectly. Like I find it slightly fatiguing, but I really like the thickness of the S Pen. Um, but I know that pen is way too thin for most people. Um, honestly, it has this triangle grip, um, very similar to the Stadler Norris. Honestly, for me, I think anyone who's interested in buying the Stadler Norris would probably be better served with the Lamy, because if you're already picking up the Stadler, you don't care about the magnet, um, because the Stadler doesn't magnet. And this has a cap, which I think is really handy if you're on the go. I didn't realize a few months ago when I started on these videos how important it is to protect the nibs. The nibs can really get wrecked without even really noticing. The other thing I'll say about this pen is depending on your device, the default nibs that come on it might not be great. I got the version with the palm tip, which is the rounded tip that's very hard. I really like that on the Super Note because the surface of the Super Note is very soft and if you have a soft nib, it just kind of drags along. So like this felt tip that I have in there now, the Wacom felt tip, I don't like it on the Super Note, but I love it on the Remarkable and the books. So general principle that I've found with a lot of the nibs is on the hard surface devices like the Remarkable and the books, I want a slightly softer nib, and then on the Super Note, I want something super hard. So just to clarify, for those on the books or Remarkable platforms, you're probably gonna wanna replace the palm tip nibs. I find it especially aggravating when I tap and I can hear that tap on the screen. It kind of reminds me of writing on the iPad. And the Wacom felt tips work really well for that. The Remarkable nibs also work. This stylus has worked with every nib that I've tried in it, unlike the S Pen. The S Pen does not like the Wacom felt tips, PSA. So if I'm nitpicking, what would I change about this pen? I wish it were a little bit thinner. It's a little bit too thick of a writing grip for me, and I would make it about twice as heavy, but that's my own personal bias, as I, I just really like a big, heavy pen. Cap is great, wouldn't change anything there. The clip is great. I will note that the paint on this Ken chip, I have like a little 
gash in it that I don't know how I got, but aluminum soft, so that's not surprising. Overall, really great pen. Um, I probably should have reviewed it in the initial set, but this is definitely my uh, runner up. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you got any questions about the Lamy or any of the other styluses that I've tried, feel free to drop me a comment down below. I've got reviews on the Remarkable and the Supernote A5X coming out shortly. So if that's of any interest to you, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thanks again and have a great day.